Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet for an incredible organization, the Food Bank of New York City, and their Can Do Awards. We'll be talking to television's culinary royalty, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, one of my favorite all-time chefs, and even more of a favorite because the food bank, your baby, this incredible night, Mary Batali, talk to me about the work you guys are doing. You have culinary royalty here tonight. We are lucky that we know a lot of fun, cool people who make their business out of food and thus realize the importance of the investment into hunger relief. It's a big piece of what we do. Giving back feels good, but giving before you even got something isn't such a bad idea either. So we're happy it's been Susie and I have been working on this event for 15 years. We chaired it for 10. The last two, Scott Feldman and Jody Sue Rosen, have been chairing it and doing an amazing job hitting it out of the park. Tonight we're going to raise probably close to $2 million in one night, which is 20 million meals. Congratulations being honored tonight by the Food Bank. What an incredible organization. You guys are so involved with this. I was telling you I love the documentary you made about the, the work that's being done. Talk to me, A, about being honored and the, the wonderful work they're doing here. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm here because my wife made a great film, so she can probably talk better about that. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, it's a great honor to be here because New York Food Bank of New York City is one of the uh, organizations at the very forefront of the fight against hunger in this city and therefore in the country. Um, they're really looking at the root causes of why people go hungry and trying to address the systemic underpinnings, which is so essential. So we're very proud to be part of it. Tom, I'm an enormous Top Chef fan. So when are you guys coming back and where are you going to be? Oh, our, our, we're, we start shooting uh, in a few weeks. We'll be in California. And uh, we're going to be all over California. So we're in Los Angeles, San Diego, um, Palm Springs, Santa Barbara, and San Francisco. So we're going to move around quite a bit. The Food Bank is doing such great work talking about being here really to support it. Well, you know, the hunger, hunger, hunger doesn't have a face. And I think that this Food Bank has served millions of people um, over the years. And be it from the children to uh, people my age, older people, it is really important that we actually draw, um, just kind of be aware, make people aware. But I think the connection to children being hungry and also the way that they learn, I mean, that's our future. And if a child is in school and they can't focus on actually learning because they're hungry, how are we going to make the connection that we need to give them food so that we can actually take our future and feed them and go on into the next grade? How can any of us go to sleep at night thinking of the little children who can't eat dinner? It's, that's perfectly put. How can anyone with any kind of feelings for his own family think about that and be calm in the evening? How can he do that? How can we do that? This is a country that is the most generous country that has ever lived, that has ever existed in the history. I'd say lived because it's, it's like we're one person, we're a unit. And this country deserves to feed its own, then feed the rest of the world. It's our turn to take care of one in five in New York who are hungry. That's unconscionable. That's third world. So that's, what, that's my message. Everybody get together and remember we're all part of the same human race. I was talking to the king of Top Chef earlier who is being honored tonight. And I'm talking right. to the queen now. That's why I'm here. Thank you very much. <laughs> This food bank, the work they're doing is just incredible. Talk to me about being here to support the organization. Uh, there's a number of reasons I'm here, of course, to support Tom Calico. I'm so proud of him and the hard work him and his wife, Lori, are doing to feed this country um, that desperately needs feeding. Sadly, too many people in America and, uh, and specifically in New York City are going hungry when they shouldn't be. So um, I've been supporting the food bank for several years for that exact reason. Um, we owe it as part of the food industry and as, a, as citizens of New York. Um, 
to the to the fact that anyone in this city goes to bed at night with their stomach grumbling, especially children, um, and uh, it's vital that we give everything we can back to make sure that that doesn't happen. I've got the stars of the evening, Little Big Town. First of all, congratulations, ACM Vocal Group of the Year. I want to hear what it was like winning that, but also supporting this great organization. Talk to me about it. We, we love this organization. We got to visit the food bank back in the fall, and we're, I was just blown away by the passion of the people who work there and how determined they are to end this problem in New York City and, and the state of New York and, and beyond, as Philip said. It, it, we're, it's an honor to be here and to be a part of just a little tiny piece of this. Mr. Chopped himself, Mr. Ted Allen, supporting this wonderful organization, Food Bank, and the work they're doing. Talk to me about being here to support this great event and the work that they're doing to feed people? Well, first of all, it's very hard to say no when Mario Vitali asks you to do something. Um, and he's inter entertained and delighted and fed so many of us for so long uh, that, it's, uh, that he's a real inspiration for all of us that way and such an incredible, talented chef. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Uh, that's great. What's important is that we're going to raise a lot of money. Um, people in New York might not, may not realize that somebody right next door to you is hungry, is having trouble feeding their own kids. And the food bank is there for so many hundreds of thousands of people. Um, you donate one dollar. By the way, you don't have to be uh, you know so you don't have to be wealthy to make an impact in this in this movement. You donate one dollar to the food bank for New York City, and that makes five meals. It's incredible. Ten dollars is fifty meals. It's incredible. I just did math, and that is incredible. Well, I'm very proud to be here tonight, um, and I'm very honored to be receiving one of the awards that are that are being handed out tonight. Um, Mario Batali is the only person I believe, because he works every single day, 24/7 on all of these, not only the food bank, but so many charities. I, I just think he should be honored every single year. He's an incredible man. He's incredibly humble. He's incredibly kind. He never says no. He always is in a can-do mode. And that's incredible. When I call him to help me do one of my bake sales to raise funds for No Kid Hungry, when I call him to contribute a recipe for a cookbook that's going to charity, any of those things, he never says no. Uh, I mean, this organization is truly something special in that it makes sure that all New Yorkers are getting fed. Um, with a, a city of this much wealth and abundance that people are hungry, quite honestly, is unconscionable to me. So um, I'm a chef, I feed people, and so I'm here supporting an organization that makes sure, makes sure that that happens. The work you and Mari are doing with the food bank, incredible in this night. Culinary royalty is all on hand. <laughs> Talk to me about this wonderful organization and, and being able to share the work of this night. Yeah, I mean, Food Bank for New York City is the city's largest anti-hunger organization. We serve 1,000 charities, and that's how we hit 1.4 million New Yorkers. We have about 18 to 31 trucks on the road every day. It's not as glamorous as this, uh, but having a good partner like Mario allows us to have the right amount of glitz to get the right attention about a very real issue in our city, which is hunger. And this year we're doing things a little differently. We have the celebrities, but we also wanted to bring a representative, um, which is Fatima here, because we serve about a half a million children, and a lot of people don't know that. So she's here to bring the pain from the next generation, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> your mini-me is with you today. My I love mini, -me. mini you. Exactly. You're here supporting such a wonderful organization. Talk to me about being here to support Food Bank and the work they're doing. Well, it's an amazing opportunity to be here tonight. C and I and our, her younger sister, Teddy, we've been working with the food bank for over five years, so it's an incredible opportunity. And it's actually because of Housewives that I'm here, because they gave me a name, and so I could actually do you know, all this, the better good for New York. So I thank Bravo and Housewives.